Gordon Klingenschmidt is a crazy fundamentalist Christian, and he's a newly elected Colorado state representative, which is terrifying. And he provided us with a hilariously ironic and hypocritical moment to report to you today. So he had a Republican activist named Dwight David Doherty on his show, which is called Pray in Jesus' Name. <laughs> I can't handle how silly they are. Uh, and they proceeded to bash liberals and bash LGBT activists and everybody who isn't exactly like them. I mean, you know how it goes on these far-right shows. Uh, and that's right in line with what Klingenschmidt usually does. In fact, on his show, he recently cited the following Bible verse, quote, Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Wow. So he's really, really, really against uh, child abuse. He's making that clear here. Uh, he also said the following uh, about the Boy Scouts, quote, if your boy is in one of those organizations, you need to get them out of there because what they're going to do is promote homosexual men to mentoring and camping with your boys in the woods, and it will lead to child abuse. Hmm. Oh, boy. So, uh, not only is he, oh, super against the abuse of kids, he made that clear, citing Bible verse, in his mind, he thinks, well, Come on, if the Boy Scouts allow gay people, they're immediately going to uh, play with the kids' booty holes because they just can't help it. The gays are pedophiles. That's how it works. And he's made this uh, comparison time and time again. He's implied it at other times. I mean, he's pretty clear. He's on the record that uh, not only is he against the abuse of kids, he thinks gay people are much more likely to abuse kids, and he doesn't want any gays in the Boy Scouts. So... This is just one of 9,000 offensive things that he said. But it's clear, if there's anything perfectly clear from watching Gordon Klingensmith's show, is that he's against uh, child abuse. Except, Dwight David Doherty, who he promoted, is convicted of child sexual assault. This guy, both in 1986 and 1995, was convicted of child sexual assault. Gordon Klingerschmidt had him on a show, yucking it up with him. Ha ha ha, Dwight, tell us more about what you're up to nowadays. <laughs> Fucking any kids, are we? Look at these guys, man. Now, he says, oh, me? I didn't know. I didn't know, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you didn't know. The same way, I mean, they did the same thing with Ted Haggard. It, they're so incredibly against all this uh, child abuse, and they're against homosexuality. And was, oh, but it was our pastor who we love dearly who was caught with crystal meth and a gay hooker. Give, give him a pass. He's cool. No, he's, he's just sinning. He's, he's a good man. He was sinning. What are you going to do? What are you, every once in a while, you want a cock, you want some crystal meth. Happens, man. Happens. No, see, let me explain to you the way it works with these guys. They're against wrongdoing if liberals do it, but if they do the same shit or worse shit, well, then, hey, 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 I'm a good guy and I just slipped up. I slipped up. What are you going to do? Once in 86, once in 95, I, was, I saw a little Johnny changing in the room where, with the swimsuit. I said, oh, my God, I can't help myself. Oh, what are you going to do? It's little Johnny. God. I mean, pfft, have you seen little Johnny? See, the thing is, Gordon, the problem is not, and it never was, having gay people in the Boy Scouts, okay? According to various studies, gay people are no more likely to be child abusers than straight people. So, what you're doing is you're trying to take isolated incidents of child abuse, you know, at various camps or whatever, and you're saying, hey, that defines the entire gay community. All gay people are guilty. Uh, if one gay person does something. So you're trying to say discriminate against the entire community because of some incidents where uh, bad things happen that were done by gay people. But that, that was never the case. It's never the case that all gay people are guilty of something like that. But what I'm beginning to believe, based on stuff like this and many, many other stories, is the loudest voices in the room, the ones who proclaim to be the most holy, and, oh, I'm totally against child abuse, oh my god, and I'm against gays, and I'm against this, and I'm against that, all those holy rollers usually have the most to fucking hide. 
So what I'm seeing here is the problem is not with the LGBT community. The problem is with you. And the problem is with your ilk. Because I don't know how many different cases we have to give here to get it through everybody's head, but usually when people are super over the top against something, it's because they themselves are struggling with it. As Dan Savage puts it, they're externalizing an internal struggle. And remember, it's not just the anecdotal evidence, and we've given the list before of the top 20 anti-gay pa uh, pastors caught having gay sex. We're, there's also studies that back this up, man. Uh, multiple studies. We've covered at least two on this show where they say, hey, you know, they hooked up, uh, you know, some sort of measuring device to uh, electronic device or whatever it was to the genitals of different men and then showed them porn. And it turns out the guys who uh, were ranked higher in the homophobia category, they were more likely to get turned on by gay porn. That's just one example. Another example is they say, if you come from a very super religious background, a very moralistic right-wing background, and you're super anti-gay, usually that's a good indicator that you have those feelings, and you think that everybody struggles with it, so when you see somebody else give in to it, you, you're jealous, and you're like, fuck, why, why do they have to get to have the fun, and I can't, oh, I'm gonna be super anti-gay now. This is the kind of thinking that goes on with guys like this. And it's always projection. Whether it's Gordon Klinkenschmidt, or his, uh, child-assaulting guest here, they're the ones struggling with an issue, but what are they gonna do? They're gonna point the finger at liberals in the LGBT community and blame them time and time again.